And with a true, genuine vindication of the scriptures of this last day message, and you see the presence of Jesus Christ that you had heard what he had done in his life, and here the scriptures say he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And just before this Sodom condition is fired over with the wrath of God, see Jesus return amongst his people, formed in human flesh, and do the same thing he does. My Lord, spike our souls to glory in order to do something to us. Why? It's dropping on that you heard in the Bible what he did. How the woman touched his garment. He turned around and told her what her trouble was. Her faith made her whole. Now he promised that he would do that same thing again just before the world would be burnt and the world would be in a solemn condition. The New Testament, the prophet, the God prophet, the prophet of prophets, the God of all the prophets, the fullness of the Godhead bodily, God manifested in the flesh, the creator of Genesis. Hallelujah. It's his word. He said it would happen. And we see Sodom condition. We see the world in that condition. Now we see him come down and do exactly what he said he would do. Now we've heard of him. Now we see him. I've heard of you with my ears. Now I see you with my eyes. Amen. Amen. I see you with my own eyes. What an hour it should be. What a time it should be. The confirmation of his word. Always, when the word is confirmed, that's God speaking in his word, making himself visible that you can see this message of the hour that we're now enjoying the presence of God, the latter day, the evening time, when the lights are shining and the things has been opened up and the word vindicated and proved to be the truth, both prophesied, comes to pass, all through scientific and everything proved, that it is Jesus Christ the same yesterday and forever, and a man walked out on that. He's an unbeliever. He's beyond hopes. He's numb by the power of Satan. There's no hopes for him. He's beyond hope. I remember just Abraham's seed receives this. A little while the world seeth me no more, Jesus said. You shall see me, for I'll be with you in you to the end of the world.